Here's how Brooklyn and Boston measure up, by the way. And Smitty, before we look ahead, let's look back at that 50 piece that Jason Tatum dropped to get his team into the playoffs. How important, though, is it for him to maintain this, this offensive dominance as his team's roster is limited at this point? Yeah, it is, and I think not. we can't put the pressure on him, Kristen, to be able to get 50 every night, but he has to be able to draw a, a double team, and I think he did that against the Wizards, uh, they tried everybody. And then a lot of the guys, they were just too small. And I think for the Brooklyn Nets, they're going to have to figure out the way to slow him down, but not just give some other guys confidence. He's going to have to find a way to draw the double team, find other guys, but also stay aggressive. Don't let them take him out of being aggressive. Whether it's posted up, understand the double team is coming. He's going to garnish a lot of attention. But I think for him, just keep trying to get to the free throw line. And at times, trust your teammates. Try not to take those bad shots with leads out to easy buckets and fast break for the Brooklyn Nets. We talk a lot about his age, but maybe not enough about his extensive playoff experience to this point. How important is that considering the Celtic circumstances? Hey, Christian, yeah, you bring up a great point. It seems like he's been in the playoffs every year he's been there. And not only that, deep run. Right. That's the one thing. And also, he's been the number one option in most of those runs, and he's doing it again. And I know I wanted to see Jalen Brown in this matchup, yeah. but he's not going to be there. So obviously he's going to carry the load. And then also we talk about his offense, but with no Jalen Brown, there's going to be Jason Tatum, who's gotten much, much better defensively, but he's going to have to do it on both ends because you're talking about Kyrie, Harden, and KD. He's got to guard one of them. And Let's probably you those three up. Probably it's going to be KD. Okay, because we could talk all night long about most valuable among those three. But who do you see as the most important to this series specifically? Kyrie, KD, Harden. I think James Harden. The reason why is in a playoff situation, yes, they have three phenomenal players, but who is going to get other guys confidence? All those guys can pass, but I think James Harden is the one, as we can see, as we put this together, we all ask the same question. Who is going to pass? They all can, because, but they all can score. Right. And what I love is when James Harden was traded over there, he took on that role. I am the point guard. Kyrie's the two. And Kevin Durant's will always be a scorer. <laughs> right. No of matter course. what. So I think James Harden's going to be key. But on the Boston Celtics side, Kimball Walker is going to have to bring it in this series, especially going up against Kyrie Irving. Are you concerned at all? And concerned may not be the right word considering the stature of players we're discussing here, but that we haven't seen those guys play together very often yet this season. You know, I am concerned. You know, obviously, if you had it your way, I think you would definitely want to have more games under your belt. I mean, and they were in and out. It was always two, never three, then there was one. But I think um, for those guys, they play the game. They they understand Durant and Kyrie's been together. They have a little bit of chemistry. Durant and Harden. I think, think all three of them. But more importantly, Chris, and I don't think we're asking the question enough, is Steve Nash comfortable with coaching all three? He hasn't got a chance to do that. In the end of the games, where do you go? Who's going to do this? I, and I think that's where Steve Nash, being a first-year rookie coach, he would have loved to have more games with his full squad and his three best players. Of course. And I think that's where we'll get a chance to see in some close games how does Steve Nash deploy all three of these guys? KD recently said he doesn't feel like they have a big three, but they have a big 15. So if it's not one of those three guys, who are you looking to in this series specifically to step up against the Celtics? Well, I think DeAndre Jordan, he has to play well. And I think also Bruce uh, Brown, those two guys. And Joe Harris, we understand, is he's always going to be key, even if he's not making shots, but spacing the floor. But I think Bruce Brown and DeAndre Jordan, reason why, those are the two defenders on the Brooklyn Nets. It's all about defense for them to win championships. Are you really worried about their offense, Kristen? No. I'm not. It's I all not. Yeah. defense. And <laughs> yeah. I think losing size with LaMarcus Aldridge, even though he's not a defensive player, he just brings size. Him and DeAndre Jordan, a lot of size. And without him, they go a little bit smaller with Jeff Green and Blake Griffin. But those are the two key guys for me on the defensive end for the Brooklyn Nets.